In this tutorial we'll solve your bootstrap navbar toggle not closing after opening it. Okay, so you open up the, the, the navbar toggle and it doesn't close when, when you click on it again. So the problem is, let's take a look at the code. The problem is in most of your uh, cases that you're linking to both the popper JS as well as this is the popper JS as well as the bootstrap JS code, right? So the, the problem is that you're linking to both and that's not necessary because in bootstrap five, the popper is already included in the bootstrap code. So you can remove all of this and only link to the bootstrap JS code. Now, by the way, when you link to that here in your head, make sure you use the defer attribute so that, so that it doesn't block parsing the rest of the page, right? So it's really important, by the way, that you have mastered both CSS and JavaScript. Those are really the underlying fundamentals. I have courses on them. If you want to take them to a, an advanced professional level, check them out. The links are in the description. But um, one other thing I want to mention here is that when you go out to look for this link, when you Google Bootstrap Docs, and um, you click on the first link, you're, you will actually get an older version, right? So it's better to just go to getbootstrap.com. This is their homepage and it will, also, it will always show you the latest version. And here they show you the links that you need, right? So these are the two links that you need. Um, we're in version five now, maybe like 5.3 or something for you. But um, you can see this is the JavaScript bundle that already has PopperJS um, included, right? Of course, also make sure you have the CSS as well, right? So when I do this and I save here and now I refresh and I open it up and now I try to close it again, it works. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.